Hey, and welcome back to Glenn's Air Studios, where I help you grow your real estate business. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how I got a 72% cash on cash return on my first rental property and how you can do it too. So, but before I do that, if you could please like this video, if you're on Instagram, like the video, if you're on YouTube, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Definitely want to grow this channel, help more people out. So I'm going to explain that right here. Okay how I got 72% cash on cash return and how you can do it as well. First of all, let's define what a cash on cash return is. Cash on cash is how much money you had to bring total down on the property, okay? And then how much return you got in rent, okay? So for example, how much money did you have to bring down to buy the property? So if you had to put 10% down on a $100,000 home, you had to bring $10,000. And if you collected, $1,000 a month in rent, okay, and that was profit, you would make $12,000 in the year, okay? So if you make $12,000 total in the year and you had to bring $10,000 down, you would have a great return. You would actually have over 100% return on your investment. So however much cash you had to bring versus how much actual cash you brought in, okay? So I'm gonna explain that. Here is the steps that I did to get that high of a return. Now also you have to think about it. People are super pumped if they get a 10% return, 12%. You're ecstatic if you get a 20% return on your investment in the stock market and most rentals. But you can do this, okay, on your first property very easily. Here is what you need to do, right? The first thing is you want to do an FHA loan, okay? FHA. I've been talking about this in my other videos, but that is when you only need to put 3.5% down to buy the property. So if it's a $100,000 property, you only need to bring $3,500 to purchase it, okay? So I was able to get an FHA loan, and I'm gonna do the numbers here in a second. The second thing is, I was able to get seller's assist, okay? Seller's assist, what is that? That is whenever the seller brings money to the buyer at closing, okay? So I was able to get seller's assist. The third thing is, I didn't just buy a normal property with my FHA loan, I bought a triplex, okay? So I bought a triplex, so that means three incomes, okay? I was able to get three incomes because I had three different units that I was renting out, okay? So I was able to do this on a triplex, and then um, the last thing I was able to do was I was just able to save my money, okay? Save my money from that. So let's jump into the numbers about how this worked and how you can do this as well. Okay, so we're going to run over here and we're going to do um, purchase numbers here. And then we're going to do rental numbers here. Okay, we're going to go over how much I had to bring down and how much income I brought. Okay, so I bought the house for $315,000. That sounds like a huge number, but remember, we're doing an FHA loan. That's only 3.5%, right? So how much money did I have to bring down? That's $11,025, okay? Now, I only had to bring that much money down to buy the house. Here's the thing. You add all your closing costs, your realtor fees and whatnot. That number, with the realtor fees and everything, came to about $19,000, okay? I'm going to use rough numbers in this video, even though it was like 19200 something. So I had to $19,000 total to bring down, okay? But I asked for seller's assist. You should always ask for seller's assist if you do not have a lot of money down. I got $7,000 to help me go at closing. So I got $7,000 in seller's assist, okay? So I total, total, I had to bring down $12,000 on this property, okay? So that is not bad. I only had to pay $12,000 to acquire a triplex that cost $315,000, okay? With an FHA loan. So that is how much I had to bring down. Now, with an FHA loan, you do have to live in the property for one full year, but we are going to count that, um, we're gonna count like I paid rent to myself in one of those units. So here's how the numbers worked out. I had three units, okay, my first unit, was $1,200 a month, my second unit was $1,150 a month, and my third unit, which I paid to myself because I knew it was worth $1,000, okay? Now, total income that I had from the unit was 
$3,350 a month that I got, okay? $3,350 a month that I got, right? So that's how much income I had. Now, I had expenses, okay? I had expenses on this property, right? If I'm gonna pull out this much of a mortgage, I'm gonna be paying on that, okay? So with all of my expenses, okay, that I had, I had a mortgage that was about $2,200 a month. I had a, um, I have all of my other stuff, right? So we're gonna add just about another $300 in expenses because that includes my taxes and whatnot. So total I got, okay? Here's what I got total, zero, five. I'm gonna subtract this as well. $750 a month profit that I cash flowed on this, okay? So I got $750 a month that I cash flowed, right? So what, what are we gonna do with that? We are gonna multiply 750 times 12, okay? Because this is gonna give me my total profit that I made on the property, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna multiply that, we're gonna do zero. I made just about $9,000 in total profit on the property, okay? So I made $9,000 in total profit, right? So then, how do I figure that out? I'm gonna figure out my return. So I got a $9,000 return, I used $12,000 total, so I'm gonna divide 9,000 by 12, okay? So we're gonna do 9,000 divided by 12 here, which I'm gonna do here, and I can do that old school. And 9,000 divided by 12,000, okay? So I'm gonna divide that, my total income, minus how much money, divided by how much money I had to bring down, and that right there, that number gives me 75, oh, I wrote a dollar sign, I don't wanna write a dollar sign, gives me 75% cash on cash return. Now, like I said, I, these numbers are a little bit different because I just read round numbers for my math, but it was a 72% return on my investment, okay? And that is an amazing investment because I was almost able to recoup all of the money that I spent in the first year on my property. So right there, 75% return on my investment. You can do it as well by getting an FHA loan, having sellers assist to get that total income down that you have to you know, put on the property, buy something that has multiple streams of incomes, and then you can save your money really quickly because I had to put $12,000 down, I got $9,000 of it back in 12 months, you're able to save your money much quicker. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. We'll check you later.